Face. Somebody please send help today. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the show. This is Destination Delicious. I'm Spencer. And I'm Christy. And we've been cooking for you for almost a year now. Almost. We've been to some amazing places starting out west in Glacier. We came back to the east coast. We went back to the mountains. Now we're back on the east coast. And in between, we have cooked some amazingly delicious meals for you. Yeah, and it's been so much fun. It's been a great experience for us just getting to cook in front of some amazing backdrops, but we need your help for so, the next chapter. Yeah, so we thought for our year meal, you get to decide what we cook. It could be anything. It could be something that we've already made and you want us to do a different like take on it, or something that we've never made and you want to see us try it. So we need you to leave in the comments below either a meal or a recipe or a dish that you think we should cook for our one year anniversary video. We're looking forward to your suggestions and really appreciate you tuning in to watch all the wonderful meals we've cooked for you and all the cool places we've traveled to. And while you're thinking about a suggestion for us today, we are going to cook for you Hawaiian style stir fry. So let's go fire up the Blackstone. So for our Hawaiian style stir fry, we've got broccoli, green onion, we've got some peppers, and pineapple. To get us started, we are gonna cut up and prep all of our veggies. With a stir fry, you want everything to be bite-sized, so I'm gonna cut up these broccoli heads a bit smaller. Like a broccoli explosion. I know. One thing I love about stir fry is just how colorful the dish is besides being delicious. We're going to be dicing up both an orange and a red pepper, which is going to give us plenty of color in our Hawaiian style stir fry. Next we have a red onion and this is getting tossed Spencer's way because he is gonna slice and dice this. If you know why, you know why. I'm not sure I know why. Because you have a better onion technique and you make fun of me every time I cut an onion. So uh. now you're like designated onion dude. Just kidding, we were cooking a salad. <laughs> it looks like we're making a salad. <laughs> right, and then lastly, we are gonna cut up our pineapple. Another lesson here, teaching me how to cut a uh, Okay, the last thing to cut up before we start griddling is the chicken. We've got three chicken breasts here. I'm just gonna cut them all into bite-sized pieces. We've got the chicken all cut up. It's going to take a little bit longer to cook than all the vegetables. So I'm gonna get some oil down on the griddle and put the chicken down. Then I'm gonna sprinkle it with some of Blackstone's teriyaki seasoning. The chicken is now mostly cooked, so I'm gonna pull it to the left side of the griddle, turn that side down to low, and then I'm gonna scrape the oil and seasoning off the rest of the griddle so that we have a fresh surface for our vegetables to go down. Now that our chicken and our vegetables are cooked, we're gonna mix them together and add our sweet and sour sauce. I'm gonna get a little bit fancy here just because it's fun to do that for our presentation wise. We're gonna put some white rice down. I think we've actually got jasmine rice here on our plate. And then I kept the top of the pineapple, and that's gonna be a little fun decoration in the middle. And then we'll add our stir fry all around the pineapple top. Need some greens in there. Let's see, get the broccoli up over there. Mm. 
and a little green onion to top it all off. Voila! All right, this one looks really fun. Like, I mean, really yeah. cool presentation. I loved being able to save the pineapple top. Like, that's just kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I think that was a great idea. This smells so but good. But it also smells fantastic, yeah. so I'm excited to give it a shot. I, gotta try, I wanna try to get like, as much, as much of everything. Oh, oh man. Mm. I feel like pineapple is wow. really like an unsung ingredient. Because it could be used a lot more than it is. I, I agree. It has really good flavor. The sweet and sour sauce blends it like it's kind of like the final. It just, just brings blend, it all together. Yeah, brings everything together. All the flavors mix together really well, and it just tastes so good. I'm impressed. This is a good one. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. Thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate all the support that you've given us over the last year. And remember, make sure you comment below with a recipe or a dish that you'd like us to cook for our one year anniversary video. Also, make sure you visit blackstoneproducts.com for all things Blackstone. Subscribe Sweet. to the YouTube channel. <laughs> I was gonna say, so you don't miss any of the shows from Todd, Betty, Bruce, Nate, CJ, and us. And until next time guys, this is Destination Delicious and we will see you down the road. Oops.